This is the best and cheapest hyper extension that I've ever sold. Normally when it comes to gym equipment, it is a case of bigger is better. However, the evolution of the ATX hyper extension has resulted in one of the most compact versions yet. If you've been watching my videos on gym equipment, you'll know that I'm not a big fan of the fancy stuff. I didn't use it myself in my own training. So I just want people to know that you don't need to spend a lot of money to get into training. So I guess that's why I love this little thing so much. It does everything that it's meant to. It's as solid as a rock and it has been the cheapest hyper extension that we've sold. Even though it's the cheapest, I would say that the build quality is amongst the best and that's all achieved by clever German design and implementing the new manufacturing techniques. Starting off with the pads. Now, some people might say they're too firm. It could be a little bit more comfortable on a softer pad. However, if a little bit of discomfort is gonna put you off, then serious training is not for you. The reason why the firm pads are good is because they will last a lot longer. From my experience, hyper extension pads can wear fast. A lot of the weight is put onto the, the top of the pad. So if it's nice and soft, the pad will condense and then it will reform. This process gets repeated. However, that process won't go on forever. The repeated stretching and reforming will stretch and deteriorate the, the upholstery and the memory foam will lose its memory. In my case, I don't know how long we've actually had this particular machine for. My guess would be that it would be close to two years old and these pads are as good as new. So unless you like changing pads, ATX has got the balance just right here. Just like the foot plate, the pads sit on a, a, a nice laser cut mounting plate. This is an example of how ATX can deliver a better product cheaper. Uh, it utilizes the latest 3D bending technology and laser cutting. And the end result is a, a stronger, simpler, and better looking uh, mounting plate. Moving down, the pads have nine height adjustment positions. This is a great exercise for kids. So when I'm training with mine, it is so easy to adjust between the different heights and there's laser etching so you know which position is for the right person. Now, one reason why it's so easy to change is the, the sleeve system that ATX uses. This is another great innovation. Um, before, when you'd have tube within a tube, they'd have these nylon sleeves that would sli slip it over the ends and they'd have a, a raised cylinder that would lock in. Now, for whatever reason, if that cylinder got knocked off, those sleeves would pop out. This, this sleeve system, the sleeves sit all entirely within the, the tube. They've got much larger locking uh, mechanism and the sleeves themselves are just bigger, stronger. Once that slide tube is pushed in, the sleeves are stuck in place. Everything about this sleeve system is better than the old systems. And once again, that's why I say this machine is better than the hyper extensions I've sold in the past. At the base of the, the uh, adjustment tube, there's this little bolt there that'll lock the pads in place. So someone can't in a gym pull the, for whatever reason, pull the pads out. Even though this is small and light, if you look down, it's got reinforcement brackets. So when you're on there, even when you're using weight, this thing is so solid. The foot plate has a raised lip so when you're locked into position and if you're using a resistance band or adding a kettlebell for some extra effort, you've locked firmly in place. Now, leaving the best tool last, there's a pair of uh, wheels at the back. So it's dead easy to move around your gym. Hyper extensions were once regarded as a lower back exercise. So when you'll see someone like Lee Priest doing them, he's using a shorter range of motion, focusing on working his lower back. And that's what a lot of people associate this machine with. However, in recent years, glute and hamstring training has exploded in popularity, whether it's for athletics performance or aesthetics. Everyone's jumping on the, the booty train. 
when it comes to an athletic and aesthetic booty, the glute guru has got it all. Give him a follow and he'll show you how to use your hip extension to, to build the bum of your dreams. But seriously though, once you try these variations and learn how to do the exercises properly, they're very easy to do. You'll feel the tension on your hamstrings and glutes and your opinion of the humble hyperextension will change. I guess that leads us nicely into the wrap up on this machine. Firstly, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Plus, you can move it around very easily. That is a big plus in any gym. It is extremely well built. It offers some really good exercises for key muscle groups, being your lower back, glutes and hamstrings. Another one I'll throw in is that it's actually great for stretching your lower back. If I spend a lot of time on the computer, I'll go out and bang out a few reps and hold it in the stretch position and do them nice and slowly. But best of all, this unit, considering what it does and the quality, it's relatively inexpensive. So it pretty much ticks, ticks all the boxes when evaluating gym equipment. Yes, you can live without this. You do not absolutely need it. But if you wanted to add an affordable piece of gym equipment, then I would put this high amongst the options given its space and uh, affordability and what it can do.